What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Dale Kelly here today, man. And as you guys can see, right now I am pulled over by the DOT police, man. We're about to see how this goes, man. I'm pretty nervous right now, man. Let's see how it goes. So, yeah, guys, um, <laughs> I'm smiling right now. I'm laughing and stuff, man, because this is the first time I've ever been pulled over by the DOT police right now. I'm in Bessemer, Alabama. I hope I'm saying that right, but right now I'm in Bessemer, Alabama and stuff right now. I really don't know why I got pulled over. So if you guys are asking me, I didn't do any like improper lane changes or anything like that. I'm not speed or anything like that either. I'm just riding, you know what I'm saying? I actually had to wait a minute though for my company to tell me where to get an empty at because the place I was at, it didn't have any empty. So I had to wait like an hour to get this best to get up, get it empty. So now, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just on our side of the road, man. I'm a little nervous, though, bro. This is my first time being put over by the DOT police. I hate being put over by the police, period, man. So, like, being put over, and I'm in Alabama, man. I'm like, oh, shit. So, I'm seeing her like, oh, shit, man. Is he about to, what he about to do to me, man? Like, I'm new to this shit, bro. So, like, we about to see what happens, man. Let me show you, let me show you um, what he asked for, though, too, guys. So um, when he put me over, as you can see, I'm still out here. He wanted to see my logbook. So I had to go to my HOS, my log, and I had to show him everything that I'm on right now. You know, I'm telling him where I'm coming from. So like I said before, I'm coming from Bessemer, Alabama. I'm going to Fairburn, Georgia and stuff like that. So he wanted to check my logbooks and make sure everything was right. Also, at first, I didn't know where my registration was and everything like that. Because, this, you know, this is not my truck yet. You know what I'm saying? So, but... This is my book of registration. So all my stuff is right here. And if you guys are for a company, your registration, if you get in this situation and you don't know where your registration is at, usually in our cards, it's gonna be up here. We're gonna have it like up here. But you know, as you see, I don't have a glove department. So check on your sides, like right here, or check over there in this book right here with all your company's registration, proof of insurance and everything like that. It should be in a book that looks just like this. So, yeah, man, he asked for all that and stuff. Um, they're just gonna wait and see what he says, man. Like, I didn't get a ticket yet, so that's fine. I'm happy about that. I don't think I'm gonna get any tickets or anything like that, so that's pretty cool and stuff like that. But, you know, I hate being stopped, period, man. Like, damn, man. <laughs> I was already trying to make good time coming back home so I can get off work early, man, and not have to sleep in this bed. Or anything like that and i want to work out tonight too guys but so it's like my timing is is getting thrown off a little bit by being stopped on this road right now man so take a picture of my id and everything as well and all that good stuff so right now man i'm just just on the side of the road man i'm kicking it man i'm waiting i don't know why he stopped me though man yeah man so like i was saying guys i don't know why he stopped me but um my advice to you guys would be in this situation on a serious note. When you're in this situation and you get stopped, you don't know why you're getting stopped. You don't know why you're getting put over anything like that. Be respectful and be mannerable, guys. Like, don't be irate. Don't be irritated. Don't be flustered or anything like that. Make sure you have manners and make sure you're respectable, man, because you don't want to piss this guy off. This guy, he's the DOT police, man. You don't want to piss them off, and now you're looking like it's some all type of bullshit can happen. It can make you, you know, put you out of order. I mean, put you out of service, man. Make you get out the truck and tow the truck anything, man. Like, give you a fucking ticket. Give you um, a level three, two, four violation or anything like that. So, you don't want that to happen, guys. So, when you're in this situation, man, again, be mannerable, be respectful, and just, just smile and just, you know, let them do their job so you can get out of there and you can make it home safely, guys. So like I said before, man, I'm still sitting here, man. Sitting here waiting, man, trying to see, you know, what's about to happen and what's going on. I wonder why it's taking him so long to um do whatever he's doing and stuff like that. Also, I like, took pictures of my um of the trailer, took picture of my tractor and stuff like that. He went under the vehicle and stuff like that as well. Like I said before, he took a picture of my ID and everything as well, too. So, you know, just, I guess he's just doing his job and stuff like that. I talked to him, and I don't think I'm getting a ticket. He said I didn't do anything like that. So, which I don't know why I got stopped. If I didn't if I didn't do anything, bro, why are you stopping me, man? Out of all these trucks we see on the road, bro. Why am I the one getting stopped, man? 
probably like, man, what this, what this dude, what this, what this doing in Alabama, man? What he doing out here, man? So, <laughs> I don't know, guys. We're gonna see what happens, man. So, let's see, man. Uh, is he getting out? He's not even getting out yet. God damn, man. As you see, man. Jesus Christ. Man. But, what's up, man? I know I haven't made a video for you guys in a while either, man. But, you know, I've been really trying to focus on the craft and everything like that. And understand the business and learn the business as well, too. Oh, he's coming back now, guys. Let me talk to you guys. Yep, this is the dude right here. He told me I'm all good and everything like that. This is the paperwork he gave me back, guys. All this good stuff. So, I'm all good. I can head home. I can keep it rolling and stuff like that. So what is this? This is an intermodal equipment provider report. So Alabama law enforcement, Montgomery, as you guys can see, everything like that. And, you know, everything went all good. So, yeah, man, let me get my ass home, man. Let me get the fuck up out of Alabama, bro. I don't want to be here no more. Fuck that. I see you guys, man. <laughs> Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment for my YouTube algorithm, man. I see you guys. So what's up guys? Um I wanted to leave you guys with this before um before I ended the video. A lot of you may um ask why didn't I record the um the officer while he was doing um while he stopped me and everything like that because again he stopped me for no reason. Like that was the first thing he said to me when he stopped me was hey you didn't do anything wrong for uh even though I was nervous and everything like that and I have the right to record an officer, you guys. Legally you guys all have the right to record an officer and stuff like that. But the reason why I didn't do it is because um, he already stopped me for no reason in the first place. And I just didn't want to, like, you know, just end up recording anything like that and get the officer more angry. More just, like, make him more subject to try to do some bullshit or anything like that. Or just give me more of a hard time or anything like that. So that's why I just got up out of there, man. I recorded everything that I could record and just, you know, got home safely, guys. So... Again, sometimes just think about, um, sometimes don't be so hungry to try to, uh, to try to create content. Like, don't be so eager or hungry or, like, content thirsty and stuff like that because, you know, we're still in the real world and stuff like that. And we have to understand, like, a lot of times, like, what we go through, what we may face and, like, some stuff that we may have to overcome and stuff like that. So, as well, you know, don't be so fixated and stuck in the internet and, like, you know, stuff like that, man, like, keep in mind that it's a real world out here and like it's a lot of consequences and stuff like that and like you know just you know just keep in mind like and be aware of like your situations and stuff like that and what you're doing so again i didn't want to record him because i just didn't feel comfortable getting him on the camera and stuff like that i didn't know like what could have happened like how you know just anything dude could try to write up anything and just put me through like a house or anything like that so just want to leave you guys with that man but you know I got back safely, man. I didn't get a ticket and everything like that. Everything went good, man. So I'll see you guys, man. Be safe, man. Love you.